welcome to a wet Sunday night Father's Day night session as I just said um, yeah Father's Day today and it's Sunday obviously and um, I'm on the veil of all places I haven't um, fished fish I'm just watching a few tench topping I think that was then um, yeah I'm on the um, on the veil I haven't fished here for well, probably fished here once last year and then once or twice the year before and another one's just topped what's going on um come down i was gonna originally gonna go i wasn't gonna actually originally go fishing with me missus i've just been doing loads of work at home and missus said why, why don't you go fishing um, i think she feels a bit sorry for me because i've not stopped for the last six seven weeks every weekend um, working at home so she said, why don't you go fishing? So I've texted my boss, said, can you have tomorrow morning off? So I'm going in at dinner tomorrow, but yeah, so I was going to go Ryan Hill, but I changed my mind last minute. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go to the Vale. I haven't been in the Vale for ages. Um, I was even expecting, I thought, right, if it's chocker, because it has been busy lately, I believe, um, I'll even fish the stock pond, not bothered. Anyway, got here, and there was one person here, and he was packing up. So he had the choice of every single swim. I didn't know what to do. Um, I've never been on here and had like so many choices. Um, so yeah, I had a bit of a look round and there was tons of fish in the aquarium. So I've opted for the um, sandbank peg. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm on the sandbank peg. Um, it was either this one or sleepers was gonna go on. And I nearly went to sleepers just because it's a bit easier. But, um, to like get your stuff out of the car but I didn't there's, fit, there's literally tench or something Ooh. out there and to my left just been topping then as I was just doing that little bit of a speech there there's bloody tench topping everywhere what's going on so yeah so I'm fishing I've got one got one down the left hand margin there just not right up to them trees but close-ish and then I've got the other one is just straight out there but not not halfway or anything well well quarter of the way out uh, so yeah that's where I'm fishing rods are actually in the water I mean literally in the water um, only because I've got nine foot rods I need to get past that past them um, reeds there so I'll put my pod in the water and just um, got my crocs on took my socks off and i've got my crocs on in case i get a run and um not holding out much hope but there you go uh i'm not not i've not got a very good track record on here to be honest i think i fished it for about 10 nights one one year and then i had one carp out and a couple of times did absolutely terrible so it's not um not my most yeah another one's just top then i don't know if you've seen that then you know there it is again yeah topping everywhere so yeah, I've not I've got a very good track record on here. It's not me, um, bit of a bogey water for me, but I just fancied it coming here. And it, I forgot how nice it is here, especially when it's quiet like this. Another one just top there. That's not far off where I'm fishing. I'm just a little bit closer to the trees and that. So yeah, been um, forecasted thunder. We've had a bit of thunder. It's just starting raining now. Um, Rods have been in about an hour. I think it's about seven o'clock. I think. Yeah. So yeah, I'll set up and looking forward to the night ahead. One thing I am made up about is getting me um, me Titan hide fixed. Bloody pole went um, thirty-eight quid for a pole. Couldn't believe it. Look at the difference on it. You can tell he must have had problems with it because look at that pole. I think that one's going to go as well. Um, went on the weld. Look at that pole, and then this is the new one. Look at the difference. And when I phoned up, he said, Oh, did you ring up before? And I was like, No. And I thought, Bloody hell, is everyone ringing up with these poles knackered? So I don't know if anyone else has had problems with them, but yeah. 38 quid posted, I thought. You do get both sides, like you get it's the, full, the full length, like from the top to the bottom. So I can see why it is a bit of money, like, but I thought. The other one goes like 70 quid, over 70 quid to repair my bivvy, just hoping it doesn't. But it's nice having it back, it was alright my atom but it's dead small if it rained, absolute nightmare, so crammed. And uh, half my stuff was outside the bivvy because I couldn't fit it in and I just felt 
last time I was on Founders, there just stuff was everywhere and I just didn't feel like I was fishing properly. I know that sounds daft, but like I was just, just um, didn't know where anything was and I just wasn't relaxed. So yeah, got my baby back, made up. Oh, and uh, my daughter's got me a nice dab radio there. Because I'm always moaning I need a radio. She's got me a nice dab radio there for put on in my fishing, so I'm loving it. Don't know myself. So anyway, back to the fishing and uh show you what I've been using. Well my solid bags, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just trying to keep everything a bit dry because it started raining. Um got a bit of hemp, got some floaters there but nothing's taken them. A bit late, got here too late and it started raining. So yeah, I've got that, I've got some sweet corn, uh, what else have I got? Oh, got a little pot of worms, um, and some spam, pellet, and well, my usual solid bag stuff. And the plan, the plan is today is just to try and catch anything, not bothered. What, any, anything that swims I want to try and catch, because I never catch anything when I fish for the carp here. So I'm just going to fish for anything, and hopefully the carp move in, if I get a run. So that's that's the idea is just a bit of everything a bit of a, a bit of a buffet for the carp but i'm only fishing solid bags with a couple of boilies around it and that's all i'm doing I'm not putting loads of bait in because i think it's been rammed here this weekend so there's probably bait everywhere so yeah but at the moment there's me and another other guy's just turned up and he's on sleepers so yeah that's all there is Right, I'm going to have a brew, because I haven't had a brew yet, and I'll uh, catch up with you later. Yeah, well I said I was fishing for anything, didn't I? And um, I've been fishing about an hour, and my left hand rod against the um, the aquarium right down them trees has just gone, but it's a bream. Oh dear. Like I said, I was fishing for anything. It's come on a bit of corn, to be honest. So I'm not bothered as long as I get a couple of runs. I don't care what it is at the Vale. It beats me up. It used to beat me up all the time when I used to come here. Not a bad size, like, but oh, let's get rid of that. There uh, we go. <laughs> nice beam. So I've just done my rod. Put it back in now. Um, put a bit of hemp in this time. Just mixing it up a bit. Just gonna try and get other species in and then see if the carp come in. I tried everything else on here and pretty much failed. So this is my other tactic. Um, but yeah. Cat, can you say you've not blanked with a bream? I don't know. I'd rather have this than nothing to be honest, like. But I prefer the tench. I do like a tench. So, whoa! So I won't mind one of the, um, won't mind a couple of tench even if I don't get any carp. Just woke up now, not mat. Anyway, um, yeah, won't mind, won't mind tench anything. Not too bothered, not too fussy on the old bream, but I'll take it, take it rather than catch nothing anyway. But as long as it's not three o'clock in the morning. All right, as I said, rods are done. Um, I'm gonna go and sort my house out a little bit. Catch up in a bit. As expected, not much has happened since that bream. Uh, been, the rain stopped at least. But I have been sat here watching the water non-stop. And there has a fair, been a fair few fish showing. Well, I think 80% of them were um, tench. To be honest, I think a lot of them were tench. The what I did see a cat, or I think was a cat as well, in near the car park end. Um, but apart from that, I have seen a koi, or a, uh, what you call it, a ghosty or something, come out. And that is it, really. I have seen a few fish though, which is good. They're pretty active, but absolutely no line, there's no nothing. A little bit of fizzing here and there. The, the fish don't see all don't see him shoaled up or anything there is some in that aquarium to the left of me there's one beam splashing away I actually went and checked before I'll make sure like see if I could see it spawning or something but uh yeah it was it was that mad before I thought are they spawning again I saw I can't they can't be but yeah in the, in the trees to the left of me there bloody hell there was some splashing going on before 
not like continuous but just like a couple of big splashes and then stop for 10 minutes i've just seen another one shot but that was a tench as well loads of tench topping uh so yeah but nothing not even had a tench i thought i might have had a tench by now but anyway i'm going to redo my rods now and put a bit more bait in for the night uh, it's just after nine o'clock so i want to get my rods done and then i can have a little chill before i go to bed i not going to bed dead late tonight um, a bit knackered so yeah i'm gonna um, put a bit of hemp in a bit of boily a bit of ground bait just gonna try and draw something in um i'm not putting tons in but i'm gonna put a little bit more than a solid bag i'll put a solid bag on whatever hook bait i've not decided yet and then just gonna put a chuck a bit of hemp in my um, bait boat or something as well um and then see if see if that does anything um, i'll be honest i'm not expecting anything um like i said before it's not me best water for catching but it's, it's quite it's not um quite a lot of people's so it's not dead easy or anything but it's nice nice coming here i'm um like not not wanting to get loads of runs just expecting to come here chill and if you catch you catch like go found as you you expect a couple of runs don't you but yeah something different tonight it's nice nice to be honest uh, this is the type of place we should be coming for the midweek bonanzas because it's a lot more chilled and you're not going to be up all night catching so i think i'm going to try that spring pool for a midweek this week uh, i think we're going to go thursday uh, so i might try spring pool or top pool again I do fancy that spring pool, but we'll see, we'll see. I won't mind cutting another tench topped. Bloody hell. They're just everywhere. They're not just in one place, so that's good. We need to get the heads down and start feeding though. Alright, I'm gonna redo my rods and then it'll probably be going dark. I'm gonna get in bed nice and early and hopefully we'll nick one tonight or in the morning, but like I say, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, catch up with you in a bit just gone half 10 uh, it's just dark now just about dark uh, I'm gonna to retire to my bivy now I'm just gonna keep listening out for fish boshing some some close by still but I uh, can't see anything now so I'm gonna to retire to my bivy because um, it keeps raining and stopping them raining I'm gonna put um, an episode of one of my programs on on my tablet for half an hour I always try and do it if I'm not with Stu because it just makes me feel a bit more tired. So we'll stick that on for half an hour or an hour and then um, get my head down I think if nothing happens. So I'm more than likely see you in the morning to be honest but you never know, you might catch something. Um, got a bit of sweet corn on one of my rods and just got a normal manila, my, my, my manila um, after things. Barrel, barrel after things so what I always use so I've got got one of each on so we'll see what happens still down the left hand side and one straight out in front of me so we'll see if anything produces um, yeah probably in for a good night's sleep but there you go right I'm going to retire to the bivy now and catch up with you later later or in the morning <laughs> would you believe it just before 12 o'clock i'd literally just finished an episode on my, on my tablet and i thought right i'm going to bed and i kid you not i turned me my bivy light off lay back and thought oh nice and chilled and my rod went uh it's only a tench but um it's not a carp that i want but yeah it's a tench that's that's two runs it's probably too much two runs more than what i expected so i'll show you now it's just stopped raining now i think yep so I'll, I'll show you now quickly i'm not going to get it all out and set everything up um looks a few pound but yeah quite happy with that to be honest at least i've not at least it didn't wake me up i hadn't even got to sleep oh so all right i'll show you that now and then i'm going to have all i've just redone my rod so it's back out and uh, i'm going to show you the fish now and then get back in my bed so there we go, lovely, lovely tench. 
I get it back now. It's a few pound. It's not my biggest one I've had from here, but nice all, nice all the same. You know, as soon as you've got a tench on, they shake the headlights, shake the headlight mad. You know, it's a tench. I knew by the bite as well. So yeah, happy days. Right, let's get it back. Morning, morning. Oh, nothing happened last night, absolutely nothing. I heard a bit of splashing in the um, aquarium next to me, but I had a rod, rod on it all night. I've brought it in this morning and it's fine, so just not having it, just not having it. Thought it's going to end up with a couple of more tench as well, be honest, from the other rod, but no, nothing, nothing. Beat, it's beat me up again. Um, I was just making a brew then and a fish just boshed out in front of me um, nowhere near where I was fishing so I've just, I've just put a solid bag on and chucked to it as a latch, last ditched attempt um, and I just redone my left rod while I was at it I was going to leave him to be honest where that boshed out I thought no come on so I've just, just reeled in it's only a little it's only um, a few yards I wasn't far out so I just flicked it out and then I've just redone my left one on the, the tree line there well yeah it's beat me up again Linvale I can't believe it I thought it was on for a few fish last night whether it was tench or what I wasn't bothered just wanted to catch more than one or two because I think that's the most I've ever caught like one or two fish on here people have big hits of tench and everything I never do so I don't know what I'm doing wrong anyway I'm going to come back though so at some point I think there's still only two of them um, that lad went home I know he was going work in the morning he told me um, well another day anglers come on on the um, hot swim I think it is it looks like the hot swim that um, I think he's tent fishing or something but he's only, I think he's only here for a day bad looks of what he's got with him so yeah just the two of us on um, I thought the fish might have come out that aquarium a bit last night and picked up a bait but there you go god knows god knows so it's about half seven now i've been up for a little bit but it's about half seven ish i'm going to give it to about half nine and then i think bite time has gone plus i've got to get home for, for work this afternoon so give me enough time to get home and have a shower and stuff so i'm going to drink drink this start having a bit of a tidy up and slow pat down and then that's it, I'll be off. I can't see anything happening, I just, like I say, just chuck that to that fish, but the chances of that going are very small, very small indeed. So I think the next time I'm gonna be out is maybe Thursday with Stu on another midweek bonanza. And I think we'll be at top pool or spring pool after that cat, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I don't know which one I prefer to be honest. Um, might see how busy each one is and just play by ear. So yeah, um, looks like this could be it. So I'll I'll probably sign off here now. Um, thanks for watching. Not as not as um, prolific as the other videos, but I didn't expect it to be. Be honest. So anyway, catch you on the next midweek bonanza. <laughs>